when you see behavior that's not the way you'd like it to be, you need to make sure that people have the intention. If they haven't understood that it's important to eat healthy or take the medication, all bets are off. But once they understand it, you want to find what are the obstacles? How do I approach them at the right moment, at the right time, with the right frame, in the right context, to facilitate implementing the things that we actually have good reason to think they would like to do? It's not just about the product that you offer people, it could also be about when you offer that product. What sort of situation in terms of scarcity and cognitive bandwidth is the person in? Are they in a position to actually take this on or are they not going to be able to do that? But they don't think about these problems in terms of just a product or maybe a channel or a service. They are in a, they're a different kind of institution. They have a maybe a different kind of an operating model or a different business model. They just think differently. They operate differently. We call it financial injustice. I think that is what it should be called. Somebody attacked me recently when I called it financial injustice in Kenya. It's unjust to deny a woman a loan because she doesn't have collateral. And because that data does not show you that this woman, Jennifer, can repay her other there are other qualities that I have that are not financial that you cannot quantify. 